beautiful day outside supposed to be 40 degrees today feels like 20 and it's real windy so I'm gonna try to keep it light and sweet for you today guys thanks for joining me on another video it's me 413 mass digger I'm out here at my woods I uh, appreciate as always you guys joining me on another adventure one couple questions for you if you guys can help support a couple good friends of mine first channel is metal detecting northwest wisconsin awesome guy find some great stuff pretty much want to help him get to 1k so he can get his channel rolling guys so go over there his links are in my description show him some love sub to his channel check out his videos he's an awesome guy another great friend of mine fellow northeast digger he's called wicked digger i'm sure a lot of you guys probably already know him he uh finds some awesome stuff here in the northeast also he's also a nokta macro nomad so any questions you guys got on any kind of nokta machine made he's your guy go over there check out his channel guys his links are also in the description show these channels some love guys and yeah check out their videos help support we're gonna catch you guys on the next hole all right here we go all right guys first hole i'm gonna turn off my headset so you guys might be able to hear this signal here it's gonna be a live dig i'm on the side of a hill and i definitely can't set up the camera so i'm gonna try to do it one-handed there's something definitely down there that intrigues me what it's gonna be I'm not sure it's like right on the root of this tree too so let's see let's clear clear this out so I know where to dig all right let's go got everything one-handed here I don't want to hit the hit it whatever it is You know I love my hills, but it's so hard to set up the camera on. The camera just keeps falling over. Oh, that's pretty deep. Deeper than I thought, anyway. What do we got? What do we got? coin and it looks like a clad dime intriguing but not what we wanted to see oh well let's keep it rolling guys huh, that's pretty cool rang up a 15 on the Knox along with all of the other 15s that have been pull tabs so far this was nice to see pretty cool I bet you that was like plated at one time or some kind of painted painted color to it that's real nice I like that it's pretty old too onward so guys I had a 40 signal here knew it was like way too high to be like a Morgan dollar or something like that but I found this thing it's almost like a you know those Model T hubcap things I don't know if that's like the top of a pipe or what it could be but anyone see those initials or that maker's mark or whatever that is I have no clue what that could be it's pretty weird it looks like it screws on like the middle of a tire or something maybe I don't know or top of a pipe or who knows how oh, good you can see guys this is a hill with an old path that kind of went down here and uh, I got to the bottom right here I found an Indian head penny actually up there didn't feel like filming it because it's roasted but I got to right here I took my stuff off to take a break
not even 20 feet away from me look at that I can't even believe my eyes right now I've looked forever and ever and ever and I found one antler in my life and look at this absolutely incredible guys that is coming home with me I don't care what I gotta do to get that home but that's amazing I love it that's awesome I got an antler pretty much almost identical to one of those but now I got two of these how am I gonna get it in my bag I have no clue but I'm gonna figure it out guys that's awesome look at that I'll be bringing that home hell yeah what a find what a find nice rack I was just saying to myself as I'm coming through these woods here it's like finds are few and far between but if you really stay persistent and just keep going you end up running into something That's awesome. Look at this save, guys. Uh, of course. <laughs> this was some kind of a plated charm or something at one time. It's amazing. This phone sucks so bad. Let me zoom out. It's incredible. It's really light, so it's some kind of plated something, but you can see the gold gilt on there a little bit still. Get that beautiful. Treasure indeed. What a fine guys. Let me get some pictures on that for you. Amazing. Let's keep it going. Alright guys, I turned off my headset so you guys can hear this signal. It sounds amazing. Kind of sounded better in the headset. It's like 26 to 34, so who knows? What, this could be number of things. Could be trash. Could be. So we're gonna live dig it. Set my camera up for you. <sighs> Let's see. a copper we got a copper boys hell yeah dude let's go 
Let's go. That is a copper. What is that? All right, yep, it says one cent on the back. Let's go. I can't tell what head that is on there. Probably just a matron or whatever. Hell yeah, we got a copper. Let's check the hole. Wow, I did not expect a copper today. That's a matron all day. Pretty sure. Looks like some nice detail left on there. Look at that. What a save. That just made my day. That is going to be beautiful. I'm going to check the hole, guys, and let you know if there's anything else in there. But what a hell of a find right there. And it's beautiful condition. Absolutely amazing. This is what the hobby is all about right here. Let's go. Let me see the... Let me check the hole and I'll be back if there's any more, guys. I'll give you some pictures. Alright, moved over to a different side. Had a scratchy 21, 23 here, guys. Looks like we got something good. That's gonna be an old, uh... Looks like some kind of either an old dog tag or an old... fob of some kind. Wow, that looks like a really old dog tag, maybe. Oh, wow, yeah, cool. Penny, I belong to Gold Street, maybe? I don't know. Focus. Yeah, I can't tell. I'm gonna have to clean that up and let you guys know, definitely. That's an old one. That's awesome. I like them old ones, guys. You know that. Yeah, I'll definitely get that cleaned up. Show you a pic. Oh, I don't think I found one of these in so long, guys. Right here, I had like a 35, 36, which is crazy high for what this looks like. It sounded like crap, so I don't know if there's something else in the hole, but I think I got a silver half dollar, guys. I haven't got a silver half in so long. Oh my God. That's definitely a silver half. What is that? What is this? Let me try to zoom in for you. That looks like a silver half, guys. Oh, I can't even tell what that is, though. What is that? I'll, I gotta bring some water with me, guys, sometimes. This is a big silver coin of some kind. Oh, it looks foreign, maybe. Oh, look at that. Oh, amazing. What is that? Some kind of a... Uh, Polska? Polish coin or something? That is incredible. What in the hell is this? I thought it was a silver half. That is amazing, guys. I'm gonna have to get that cleaned up and let you know. I don't know if there's that's a bust of somebody on there, or a guy, or what, but. Oh yeah, it looks like uh, the Pope or something. Maybe that's aluminum, I don't know. Feels kinda heavy to be aluminum, but. Yeah, I can't, I can't tell what that is, guys. I'm gonna have to get that cleaned up, definitely let you know. It's some kind of foreign uh, 
big foreign silver coin of some kind that's incredible guys I'll get you some pictures and and let you know what that is Well, this is why that foreign coin sounded so crazy at another signal right next to it. Foreign coin was right here, another signal, and that was this. That's why it was ringing so high and crappy. That's some kind of spark plug for a car. Definitely an old one. I've never seen a one quite like that, but... That's amazing guys, what a find. Let's keep it going. Oh, what a incredible day guys. Up near that tree is where I found the foreign silver coin. Up there, kinda had a couple clad coins. Working my way down this hill, just dug a clad dime right there. Came over to right here had a uh, 17 to like 25 ringing really weird oh it's kind of dark where is it look at this guys look at that oh my god that is an old ring One of those blue turquoise stone rings. Absolutely amazing. I haven't had a day like this in so long. Oh, it's silver too. It is tiny. That's incredible. Look at that. Absolutely amazing guys, what a day. What a day. This is actually the next day after that largey by the way, so don't think it's the same hunt as the largey day, but what an incredible ring. Feels broke. Oh, it's one of those, uh, those kind. That is amazing. What a save, guys. I'm going to keep it going. I'm running out of time, but what a find. Amazing. I'm not sure. This probably isn't pretty old, but check out this bottle I just uncovered, guys. Never seen a bottle like that. And it's definitely not crazy old by any means, but look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely not cork top or anything, but pretty weird design. Pretty cool. Right on the surface. Well. This hole right here, guys, I can't find one of them, but I threw them in my bag. I just got a four wheat penny spill. There's one more in my bag. I can't find it right now, but these ones look pretty old, pretty beat up. But you could tell they're definitely older. That's for sure, but right there, too, I kept hearing... I get one out and I kept hearing more and more signals. There's four in there. I was hoping there was a piece of silver too, but oh well. We'll keep pushing on. Maybe we can get some more. Let's go. Alright guys, I think I got a good find right here. Rang up 25, 26. I just literally dug a clad dime. Where was it? Somewhere over here, somewhere. Got right here. I'm definitely seeing a silver rim right there. 
Oh yeah. That's a silver. Come on. What's up this damn phone today? It's gonna be a Merc. I got this weird view going on. That's a Merc dime. Let's go. Hopefully it's a, uh, like I always say, hopefully it's a 1916. Awesome. Let's keep it going, guys. Alrighty guys, I think we're going to wrap this video up here. I had a great couple days out in the woods. Lots of great finds. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did guys, please help me out and like the video if you can. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. It sure does help my channel out. As always guys, check the links in the description for WeDigMetalDetectors.net Guys, if you need any kind of metal detecting equipment, I can't explain this enough. Please reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you with some great prices for my subscribers. And, uh, yeah, anything you guys need, we have it all. Go on over to the link. Email me on my email that's also in the description down there. And I'll be happy to help you out, guys. We're going to check you out on the next video. Later.